Hello and welcome to another Power Tools for Power Automate video. Um, in this video, we are going to look at the action transform XML using XSLT. Now, this is a really powerful action which can be used for a variety of transformations. Obviously, the content has to be XML, which isn't that common in Power Automate, but I'm going to show you how to use this to generate um, an entire HTML page, which could be used in an email or for whatever purpose you wanted it for. So I have got a list here, a SharePoint list called Power Automate Experts. And what we're gonna do is generate a HTML page based off of this data. So the first thing I've got in my flow is a get items action. And then I've got a select, which just reorganizes that information to a very simple JSON, i.e. it removes all the extra properties that SharePoint brings back. So now I'm going to add a new action. Um, and before I go on, I should say that I'm no expert in XSLT. This was a suggestion from a reader of my blog and uh, it's pretty powerful actually. So I'm gonna make a um, action, compose action called prep XML. And then I'm going to make a section called experts and expert. And then put in the output of the select. And then I'm gonna convert that output to XML. So I've got another compose action and I'm going to use the expression XML and I'm going to use the dynamic outputs of prep XML. So let's just test that before we go any further. Um, and as I say, I'm not an expert in XSLT. I'm going to have ChatGPT do all the work for me. And you'll see the power of this action pretty soon. So here is our XML. We can't really see it, so I'm going to put it into here. So we have got our list of experts in XML form. So I am going to grab this. I'm going to go into ChatGPT. I'm going to say, based on Okay, so I've asked it, based on the following XML, please create an attractive web page using XSLT so that I can transform the XML to HTML. And I also added, please add a header called Power Automate Experts Directory. I would like alternating rows so that each expert can be easily seen. And this is what it has, what is currently generating for me. So we will wait to see what that looks like when that ends. Okay, so it's done its work. Let's grab it, copy that code. And now I'm gonna edit the flow. And I'm gonna add a new compose action. And I'm gonna put in that XSLT template. And then I'm going to go to my custom actions, power tools, transform XML using XLST, XSLT. Okay, so my XML is my XML, my XSLT string is that. So let's save it, give it a test. Okay, so that has generated us some HTML. I can't easily see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is delete my manual trigger and I'm going to do when a HTTP request is received and change it to anyone. Now, this is I'm just using this as a quick method of seeing the output. 
I could save that HTML to a file, convert it to PDF, send it in an email. Um, but I just want to get an instant look at what that looks like. So in my HTTP response, I'll put the body of the output of transform XML. And that will generate me a URL. Okay, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so here is our dynamically generated HTML straight from our SharePoint list and directly to the web. And so you can see that it would be possible to create an entire page or a document based off of an XML string and just get ChatGPT to build the whole thing for you. And then you can modify it afterwards. And you can see actually that when you look at the X, XSLT, it is pretty simple to understand. It's just like HTML, but it's got some, you know, conditions in there to control the output. So we've got our alternating rows. So this would be really good um, for an enhanced email action. So sometimes the table formatting and things like that can be quite difficult in emails um, and can require quite a lot of difficult expressions. But with this, you could certainly um, make that process easier and do it all in a single action if you could provide the correct XML data to drive that. So let's now extend the example a bit further. Um, and what I'm going to do this time is I have asked ChatGPT, instead of converting it to HTML, I would like to create a pipe delimited CSV and then I've also asked it to create a pipe delimited CSV with each field quoted. So this is our XSL style sheet, which you can see is much more simple than the existing one. So if I go into the XSLT here and I'll replace the style sheet. And what I will do is I think if I change that to text stroke CSV. Okay, let's go and have a look at the output now. Okay, that's offering me a download to my desktop. So you can see just by modifying that one action with a new XSLT style sheet, we can create a CSV in any format that we would like um, which makes it even more powerful than the create CSV action built into Power Automate, which is quite limited in its options. So as you can see, this transformation can be used in a variety of ways and is a very powerful action. If you would like to know more, then please get in touch. Um, and do not forget to check out the rest of the Power Tools actions, which can make building your complex flows much easier and faster. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.